In today's Farm Basics, we want to talk a little about the freeze-thaw effect and its impact for farmers. In farmers' soils, when they drive over the soil with a heavy tractor, combine, truck, whatever it may be, that pushes that soil down, it squeezes air out of the soil, and we call it a compaction layer where it makes that soil hard. When we get a freeze in the winter, what happens if there's some moisture in that soil is just like what would happen if you put a bottle of water in your freezer. That bottle may burst because it's going to swell. So what farmers hope for is we get some of this freeze-thaw effect where it takes that compaction layer if there's some moisture in there and it breaks it up naturally so they don't have to worry about it. And if they had done something or driven in an area they shouldn't have when it was too wet in the field that magically that area will disappear. Unfortunately, this is a lot more myth than reality. We don't really break up all the compaction in a field with freeze-thaw, but that's one of the things that farmers will talk about when they think about this freeze-thaw impact. All right, so that is not to say that the freeze-thaw doesn't help a little bit to reduce some of the compaction that we have in our soils. All right, but what we don't see is this dramatic movement and elimination of compaction layers. If we created a compaction layer at six inches, guess what? Despite freeze-thaw, we usually still have a compaction layer at six inches. It might not be quite as hard, but it's still chances are going to be there. So let's talk about where, what this freeze-thaw thing really does for us. And I want to focus on the freeze aspect of it, okay? In the northern U.S., we have a lot fewer issues with diseases and insects in large part due to our cold temperatures. If I have no crop growing out there, I want that freeze to go as deep as possible into my soil because the deeper it gets, the deeper the death goes for all those <laughs> bugs and diseases. And that's what I want. Well, seriously, it's almost like fumigating my soil <laughs> well, when I have a deep That's a good analogy. Deep, when you talk yep, about fumigation, ice. that would be something to talk about. Now, the other thing is where are these bugs at? Where do they overwinter? Now, if they're above ground in residue, Hey, a cold, cold winter can really help if they're above ground in trees or bushes, that kind of thing. Depending on the insects, some need it to be 20 below or colder. Others only need it to get below freezing. But deep in the soil, yes, we would need that frost to move quite deep to wipe out bugs completely. All right, so again, with this freeze-thaw effect, there are a lot of people that think, oh, it busts up all kinds of compaction in the soil. It only helps a little bit for that. What we really like the freeze for is killing diseases and killing insects in our soil. That absolutely makes a difference and thins out all our pests in the northern U.S. Well, one other thing it does is frost can kill annual weeds. But will it stop our Weed of the Week? We'll show you coming up later in the show. <laughs> 